I'm at the Medtronic booth to talk about this little thing, a smart insulin pen. Let's go ask some questions. I'm here with Madison from Medtronic and we're here to talk about InPen. Madison, I have used InPen. I used to use it when I did MDI and I really enjoyed my experience. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience with InPen? Yeah, so I actually have type one diabetes myself and I, I've used pumps, I've used different CGMs, but I get, got to a point where I just felt like being on MDI was the, the therapy of choice for me at this moment. And so I started using InPen for myself, and then I actually loved the technology, and I ended up joining Companion Medical. And now I'm with Medtronic as we continue to build on the system of, of what InPen is and how it integrates as a smart MDI system in, in totality. What is what is InPen? Yeah, yeah. So think of InPen as I kind of think of it in two pieces. One is the hardware. So that's the actual physical pin. Actually, I have one in my pocket. So this is the actual pin that you're using, very similar to like a disposable insulin pin, where you're dialing the amount of units that you want. Um, we dose in half unit increments, up to 30 units in one single injection. And this pin is where the smarts live in the back of it. So it is tracking all of the doses that are being taken, and then it's syncing with the other part, which is the app. So primarily, I'm using just the pin to inject my doses, and then the app is where I'm engaging with different features and functionalities that we have, and I'm seeing all of the doses that I'm taking being logged directly in the app. So can you explain uh, like what's underneath the cap? How do you load it and stuff like that? Yeah, so you pull the cap off, and then this is where you have what we call a cartridge holder. So you're getting the disposable insulin cartridges that get placed inside of this device. So each time I need to change my insulin, I drop in a cartridge here, and I snap this back on, and then I would attach the needle. So the same needles I use with my like generic or disposable insulin pins are used here. And then I'm dialing on the back end, so choosing my dose amount. And then, well, first you would prime, because we prime and get, a, you know, do our air shot. And then once I have my therapeutic dose, I just dial it, inject. And there you go. Done. I think what I loved most about using the in-pen was the half units. That was really key, because yeah. with the other pens, you're, you're stuck with that one unit when yeah. you really don't always need one unit. Right. So those micro abilities was just really key. Mm -hmm. All right, we talked about the physics, we kind of got into it, but now tell me, what is the data that you're seeing on the app? Why is this helpful? Yeah, so pumps have been around for a long time, and you're seeing this kind of disparity grow where pump is, has all this access to data and technology and features, but in MDI therapy, we were kind of left, left in the dark until we were started to introduce smart insulin pens. And so some of the things you like from maybe your pump, which would be a bolus calculator. So it's helping you decide how much insulin to take due to your current glucose, how much you're eating or what you're having with your meal. It's also tracking active insulin and doing, if you've heard of the term like reverse corrections, so either to get you back up to your target or if you have a lot of active insulin working, it might sort of reduce that dose so you don't overshoot your target. So all of that, and then it's logging all of the inputs, so you're getting to see how much insulin you took, what time you took it, and then what, what um, meal data potentially you've entered into the system. And so for me, and I, where I didn't even realize how much I was missing without something like a smart device, was kind of that mental burden that you go through when you're, you know, you're telling yourself, okay, remember, you, you're dialing four units, you're taking four units, don't forget you took your dose. Now I go through the, I mean, I go through the motions and I always have that security of like looking back at my app. And I, I make this like analogy where, how many times can you not remember if you unplugged your iron or like if you locked your door? And we can always go to the door and check to make sure it's locked. And we have a way of like reinforcing or confirming that we did. With a disposable insulin pin, you have no way of knowing whether or not you took that dose and how much you took. 
And so the confidence of being able to go and see that has been, I mean, tremendous. Yeah, yeah. and when you don't lock the door, okay, you didn't lock the door, hopefully no one comes in, but <laughs> if you give yourself another Double four dose. units of insulin, you're like, and you don't remember, that's scary. Yeah. What I like to say is like, if you're on a pump, great, I'm on a pump, but like, you can take that break sometimes and feel like you're still in that pump ecosystem. I like that flexibility and that's why like, for, for some time I had the in-pen and a pump and I liked kind of being able to switch back. Now I know that Medtronic did release some new details or study details on the in-pen. Can you speak to that? Yeah, so we've had, I mean, a really unique opportunity of seeing a lot of data from people with diabetes living in the real world, so not just in a clinical trial, but how they're actually using and engaging with the device. And some of the, some of the more recent research that we've been doing is looking at ways that we can use CGM data to detect meals and then also see if they've been dosed, if the patients or the users are dosing for those meals. And so this is where we've seen you know, the reality that a lot of times doses are missed. And I don't just mean breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but we graze, right? You see cookies on a platter, or maybe you see a, you grab a smoothie, and we're seeing these spikes in glucose that are occurring without a surrounding insulin dose. And so we have ways of detecting those meals. And if you're finding that you forgot to bolus or you've missed a dose, you can always come into the app and it'll give you guidance on how, how to calculate the meal dose that you potentially missed. What, what phones can the app be used on? So we're compatible with Android and Apple or iPhones. And there's, I mean, you can check the compatibility. We have compatibility listed on the website for very specific details, but generally we have really broad compatibility across Android and Apple. Okay, and then when it comes to sensors, what sensors can you currently use with it? And then maybe what future Medtronic sensors can you use with it, or any sensors really? Yeah, yeah. So today we have real-time integration with the Guardian Connect system, meaning when you open the app in real time, you'll see your current glucose, you'll see your current trend arrow, you'll see the glucose tracing in, in the app. We also have connectivity with Dexcom, but that is on a three hour delay. And where we see, we see connectivity on both Android and Apple is with G6. For G7, currently the connectivity is only for iPhone users because we go through the Apple Health Kit and it comes through on that three hour delay. So it's really helpful with like reports because you still get all that CGM data, but when you open the app in real time, we, because of that three hour delay, it's not in the app in real time. But I can always go to my Dexcom and see what your glucose value is and then open the InPen app to help with decision making. Okay, important question. I had a pink InPen, naturally. What color do you use? I have blue. Okay, I like blue. I yeah. love that. That's yeah. great. That's awesome. Yeah. And how many, is it three colors? Silver, blue, and pink? Yep, gray, okay. blue, and pink. And okay. then it's available in both the models, depending on if you're using Novo Insulins or Lily Insulins. Okay, great. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, Madison, and thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about InPen, I've got a link down in the description. I'm at ADA, and I've got a ton of content coming out on YouTube, on the podcast, so make sure you check it out. Subscribe to the channel, give it a like. I'm Justin, and I'll check you later.